What's going on everybody? So I'm here, just recently picked up a brand new toy and I wanna show you the unboxing and how to put it together. Not gonna go super in depth on this cause it's brand new to me, still learning, but I figured you could use the entertainment value. So as I was unboxing this, I found that there's these little tabs and they basically bend them over and it slides into the other piece of the sheet metal. So if you just bend those back over, uh, I use a hammer and, and screwdriver like you can see here, just to get them bent over. Um, they usually pop up pretty easy. Um, everything seemed to be packaged pretty well. Um, lots of padding, lots of stuff in there. But you can see it, it's pretty bulky. I was able to pick it up and put it up on the table myself, but I'd probably recommend having somebody help you. So here on the back of the machine, you've got the USB cable, spot for the foot switch, rotary, and then you got the main power going on there. So all that stuff just plugs in here and in the back. So this is the 30 watt OM Tech machine. Uh, fiber laser it comes with a, I believe it's a 220 lens. Um, from everything I've read, research, I'm probably going to get a 110 just for the, the combination of power with that lens is probably best for this machine. Here, I'm just unpacking all the goodies that comes with it. So you've got the little knob that goes on the top of the machine to actually lift the, uh, the head up and down. There's a monitor stand that comes with it. I don't know that I'll ever use it, but you can mount it somewhere if you want an external monitor. Here on the, the actual factory sheet, it kind of shows you some of the specs of the machine. Uh, this machine has a frequency of 30 to 60. Um, which I mean is pretty standard for Rakus. There's other things out there like a JPT that goes higher, gives you a little bit different effects. But here again, you can just look at this line. And again, it's a, like a 30 to, to 60 frequency. Tape measure, all in millimeters, because that's kind of the laser standard. A little toolbox full of goodies. Um, screws, guides, um, keys, the USB that's there. It has all the, the laser stuff on there. And of course, you got to have some dead sexy laser glasses to go with this. This is actually a foot pedal, so that way you can actually set it up. Don't know how yet, but for repeatable stuff, just swap it out, hit the foot pedal, bam. Um, and then a spare USB cable. Last but not least, the most important, power cord. Okay, so really the only thing that I saw that needed any assembly is this little knob here. Um, you'll see that there's a little piece uh, that fits down in there where the screw will slide in. And then it just screws down to the top. This little piece here actually makes it so the knob doesn't spin without turning uh, the piece that it sits on right here. So you'll see it kind of just fits right in there and makes it so it kind of it, it's a stop for that knob to actually turn that that pole there and you can see where it, it kind of fits there as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this in there put it in place get it to match up And nice and snug. So I'll fit those other pieces on top, screw it in. And 
And there you have it. Down and up. All right, power, let's do it. Um, so the power connector there, it's got some, some spots where it actually fits in there. You can kind of see, um, it looked kind of funny to me, but you know, ultimately just match up the prongs and get it to fit in there and you'll have no problems. It has a little screw that actually holds it there in place. You can do it. I know you can. There we go. You've also got a little grounding cable there, but I will never use it. You know, in the US, all the outlets are pretty well grounded. Now it's time, put those keys in, see if stuff turns on. Yeah, baby, lights everywhere. Got it. Okay, so now it's time to turn it back on get it connected to the computer. So just turning everything on so that way it will show up there on the computer. And you wanna go ahead, plug in the USB drive because it has the drivers and the software on it. Um, it's not gonna recognize it. You need to go into the device manager, pull it up. And you'll see it under other devices. There'll be some kind of error. Find it, right click, update driver. And then you're gonna go to the folder on the USB that is actually called drivers or driver. So you see I have it pulled up there and you just need to go back out and it's really just select the driver folder and it will search through there and find what it needs. And okay, next, and install. Um, my virus scanner did go a little bit nuts. It, it just stuff that was it, it was not familiar with. Um, so I gave it a little while to just kind of install everything, go through the motions, and then EasyCAD finally worked. So in the software folder inside of there, you'll find EasyCAD, open it up, hit agree, and you're in. So here in EasyCAD, I, I mean, I am not a pro at this by any means. Um, so I'm just gonna turn on the little focus thing, run it down till these two dots are in the same spot, because that's how it's supposed to be calibrated. That's how you know what your focal length is. Granted, a lot of people you'll see out there that the best way to find your focal height, if you have to like change lenses or whatever, is to slowly move it down. Actually, I think it's, yeah, I think you're a little high, you slowly move it down. And once you see the laser burning the brightest and the loudest, that is when you're in focus. So keep that in mind for later. I'll even, I'll probably tag a video here. And here, I'm trying to uh, light this square, but it takes me a minute to realize, yeah, I'm dumb. Because you know, it helps if you take the cover off the lens, then the lens can do its job. Wait for it. Duh. There you go. Now you can see it's outlining the contour of that box. So here I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna jump into the settings and just look at a couple of things, um, a couple of changes that I'll make, but pretty much left the bulk of everything the same. Um, options here, you change these if you change your lens. So that way it knows how big your area should be. Uh, you can make the workspace a circle rather than a square. Um, and then here in this move, 
I changed my nudge and my big nudge. So I like it to be a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna to go to um, point 0.1 and then on the big nudge, I'm gonna do uh, one millimeter. And the rest of this stuff, because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going to leave it alone. You know, now at least I know how to light up a box. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, well here, you know, after I've done some tinkering, kind of figured out some of the settings, um, I'm going to go ahead and just run a business card. Just a metal business card, test it out, see how it works. Um, and so you can light and then mark, mark, runs it. And there you go. Um, again, you know, and this is pretty much it. I'm going to let this run. Um, you can see the rest of the business card, but that was, that was it. Honestly, putting together a fiber seems a lot easier to me than putting together a CO2. Um, aligning mirrors and doing all that kind of stuff on the CO2 laser can take some time. Um, but I'm excited about having this fiber. I think I'll put it to work on tumblers, kind of have it more dedicated for that, um, and then be able to offer other products like PMAGs and, and maybe if I'll get a, an FFL, get into to gun parts and stuff like that. Um, if you liked the video, you know, take a second to leave me a comment, tell me what you liked. If you didn't, then just scroll on. Uh, otherwise, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.